what's up cancer and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so we are in june let's see what's going on um i know you guys are excited because your birthday season is coming up so there will be a lot of perks for you guys once it does so i am looking forward to that my daddy is a cancer that pain in the butt man i love him to death so let's get into things guys now uh this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus cancer signs and just remember, guys, that this is a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. And all the energy that you're going to be seeing and that I'm going to be talking about, it could be transferable. So it could be, you know, your energy that I'm picking up on or maybe the energy of someone that you're close to. Okay. All right. So what is going on with the sign of cancer for the month of June 2019? What can my cancers expect? Okay. Yeah, it's my daddy's birthday on the 26th. What do you buy a man who has everything? All right, so let's see, guys. So we have past, present. And we have future. Okay, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Knight of Swords in the Reverse. Now, with the Knight of Swords in the Reverse, this is someone who, for the most part, they're very intellectual. They're very quick thinking, very quick on their feet. Um, but this person now, it's like they're doing something without that thinking process. They're running into something without that, you know, without that logic being put to use. And because they're going into something so quickly, it's, you know, it's why something could fail. So when we recklessly go into something, guys, the way that I see it is as fast as it started is as quick as it ends. So that's why with certain things in life, um, we want to take our time getting into it. Now, if someone's drowning in a pool, please don't listen to that advice. But if there's anything else going on where maybe you're, you know, trying to have a relationship with someone or you're just trying to, you know, just generally get to know someone, it's always better to take our time. So um, maybe that's what can get someone into trouble, whether it's you or someone around you where you go into something very quickly without looking at all the aspects of it. So let's see. Now, starting off with your past, the first card that you guys got, King of Wands. So the King of Wands, this could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you guys are dealing with. Um, if not, then this is a boss. This is an entrepreneur. This this is someone who does something that they're very passionate about and you know they're just very powerful in what they do so why is this king of wands here we have the two of swords in the reverse and we have the seven of cups in the reverse so with this energy with the seven of cups and the two of uh swords in the reverse with the king of wands this is someone making a decision based off of clarity that they got in a situation but it was a very solid decision here now the next card that you guys have for your past is the five of cups in the reverse so when this comes out this is someone who you know was first in a place where they were sad about something but now they're not focusing on what the loss was about they're focusing on what they kind of still have going on for themselves so this is getting over some sort of loss or some uh you know some sort of sadness that you have to deal with we have the Ace of Pentacles, so maybe you were able to feel much better about something because of a new beginning that came in. And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is going to be a beginning that you don't necessarily jump headfirst into something, but you you take your time with it. And that's why there's a huge potential for longevity with whatever it is that you're building or starting here. Okay, and we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone's getting over something here, but there's a sense of hesitancy when it comes to going towards a new beginning and it's because there's still you know there's still some sense of emotional instability when it comes to this so i see someone healing and not being as bad as they may have been in regards to pain prior to this but there's still some sort of pain that a person is feeling maybe this is talking about multiple energies maybe there is someone who's over a situation someone else is really taking it very hard maybe someone's over it and not wanting to go towards it and the other person is just like shit no let's do this okay but this is most likely with someone who's very close to you or something that you're very closely attached to. But when we have this King of Pentacles in the reverse energy here, the King of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who's very nonchalant. You know, they will stay part of something 
only as long as they benefit from uh, benefit from it in some way shape or form but once you take those benefits away you know they're not going to be interested whether it's a job that you hate and you don't show up because they stop paying you or a person that you just stop talking to because they're just not doing it for you anymore but maybe before you were showing up because you were lonely or whatever okay now the last card that you guys have for the past is the three of wands in the verse so this is when we know we can't build on something this is when we know we can't expand in a certain area why is this three of wands in the reverse here? We have the two of wands in the reverse. So someone was on a path that wasn't the best path, a path for them. That's why, you know, these emotions are running all over the place. So there's a sense of having to be reserved, not having been on the right path. All right. Maybe some of you were dealing with a third party situation that you felt was a waste of time and effort and you have a hard time moving away from that. For others, maybe there's some sort of depression or some sort of sadness that you're going through where you do have your good days, but there's still, a, you know, a lot of emotions that you have to process. Now, in your present moment, Cancer, the first card that you guys have is a temperance card in the reverse. So, Cancer, there's definitely something that's not resonating well within your soul. Um, there's something that's just not, you know, uh, it, it's not making you feel good in the way that it should. Okay. So, what is this? What are you guys dealing with right now? The Magician. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's something that you've lost faith in and you have to drop it in order to get balanced. Your soul knew it wasn't for you. Okay. But maybe this is something that, you know, you did want to manifest that you did want to go towards. But honestly, I see you guys with the star card in the verse losing faith in something, but with the full card and the tower card, it's like you have this new thing that you're going towards. Okay, you have this new thing that you may be manifesting, um, but again, your mind is still on, okay, this is great, but that, that shit didn't work. It didn't work out. So it's like you can still be thinking about that. Now, the next card that you guys have, not only is it the next card for your present moment, but it's the center of the spread. So to me, I see that as, you know what, every single card, all the energies tie into, and you have the hanged man. So I actually like this, and I think that this is great if you guys follow you know, the example of the hanged man. This is somebody who has gotten to a point in life where, you know, they they understand things on a more spiritual level and they're just very zen about things. This is not a person that you're going to see, you know, crying, kicking and screaming and demanding sorry y'all it cut me off but um so this is not someone that you're going to see crying kicking and screaming this is going to be someone that they you know they're they're at a place in life where they understand that there's you know the seeing and yang there's this ebb and flow in life and that things that are meant to be in our life will come to us and things that are meant to go will just go and this is not a person who fights it this is a person that just goes with that and they go with what is natural so if you guys take on that energy there's going to be just a lot in general that you avoid because you're not forcing anything at this point so why is this hanged man here we have the queen of swords in the reverse and we have the king of swords somebody has a very high wall up here so there is someone that's you know they just want to do what feels natural for them but they're very very guarded at the same time now when you see this queen of swords in the reverse the only thing i would be careful of whether this is you or the energy of someone around you is that this is someone who can be prone to making a situation much worse than what it actually is because of how guarded they are so it's like this is someone who gets really pissed off that one of their tires went flat so out of anger and rage they slashed the other three and it's like well that doesn't help the situation so just be careful you know against the sort of energy all right we have the high priestess in the reverse here so when this card comes up it doesn't show that someone is not being intuitive it shows that there's something that you or someone around you knows but they they don't want to admit it to themselves Okay, or maybe someone who's not feeling as confident as, you know, they usually do. So the next card that you guys have for the present moment is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So maybe this is you spending a lot of money on something. Maybe you're losing money with something. This could also be a loss of abundance, just not feeling as abundant as you did before on an emotional sense. We have the Empress card. And the High Priestess in the reverse. So there's a new start being presented to you guys where there's something 
you know, deep down that's telling you, ooh, something is off here. Maybe someone's, you know, feeling that way about you. But whatever this new beginning is, I really want you guys to look at it and ask yourself, if I'm in this, do I lose a lot in life? Or, you know, do I gain a sense of stability in life? Okay. Because there's something here where with whatever new beginning this is, there's going to be someone who's not worried about it. Like, yeah, it's good. It's straight. Let's just go into it. But there's some sort of unfinished business here. There's some sort of secret that's going to come out where maybe this thing doesn't last. So for some of you, uh, maybe you're trying to date someone, but they're not over an ex or something. Um, it could be vice versa. Maybe someone's trying to date you and you're not over something. But I see a new beginning here where... There's going to be some sort of reservation that you or someone feels, but they don't necessarily listen to it. And by ignoring it, it's like you're, you're, you're headed straight towards a situation that may just fail. All right. So just be very realistic with yourself and what you're getting into. Okay. So moving forward into the future, guys, the first card that we have here is the nine of cups in the reverse. So let's see why this is here. We have the devil card in the reverse. And we have the four of pentacles in the verse. So someone's unhappy because they have to guard themselves from something. And they have to remove themselves from something toxic. I mean, you guys are still powerful in all of this. Okay. And there's still success that comes your way with this not working out. But again, you have to lose faith in something or someone. Or maybe they lose faith in you. There's something that's just not working. Now, going back to this real quick, guys. Especially if this is a relationship for you guys or... You know, because it could be a whole bunch of things. It's just something that someone's starting where, again, there might be something that's just kind of off about it. And maybe they're not necessarily, um, you know, feeling 100% good about what this is. I always say that the ultimate maturity in a person, and this is just my own quote, all right? The ultimate maturity in a person, especially when it comes to dating, if this is with dating, you know, is being able to look past how beautiful a person is or how they make you feel in that moment or how they come off and just being realistic and not letting yourself get into a situation where you can fuck yourself over just because of something that was shining like gold but it was actually rusting and it was made out of fake material okay so you know I, i'm just really proud of where i am in life because i can have the most gorgeous person stand in front of me and it doesn't make my heart flutter it doesn't do anything for me because i'm just like you know despite the exterior of what we all look like we all have little shitty things about us on the inside so this is going to be something where you want to look away from just the the outside of what you're seeing and you want to be real with yourself like okay this person may look good or this job may seem enticing but um, it could actually be a very shitty thing okay so the next card that you guys have for your future is the world card in the verse. So something that needs to be closed out, but it isn't yet at this point. Why is this world card in the verse here? Six of swords in the verse. Someone's having a hard time letting go of something that they don't want to close out. Okay. And they've already lost faith in it. Okay. But it's just not working. So someone's unhappy. They're reserved. They know they have to let something go and they don't want to. Okay. Cancer, I don't want to hear that it's my party and I'll cry if I want to think, but, you know, someone really just has to be honest with themselves about something that isn't working. For some of you, maybe this is with finances, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, for others of you, this could be with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, all right? But there's definitely conflict here. The last card that you have is a Hermit card, and I'm not surprised. You have to go back into your shell and just remove yourself from whatever this is. Why is this Hermit card here? This could also be the card for Virgo, if any of you are dealing with the Virgo. We have the Four of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles in the verse. So removing yourself from something and not putting effort into it is what brings you a good, you know, a good sense of stability here. And it's like you still have your power in all of this. Now there is some sort of offer that does come in. For some of you, it could be from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. For others, it's with finances. But you guys still do see success. Okay, the success doesn't go away. It's just a matter of realizing the truth about a situation and, you know, having to be honest with yourself. Like, this hurts. It's not what I thought it was, but I have to move away from it. Okay, so just do that the best you can in the most graceful way that you can. Okay, and that's how you know that you're, you're personally growing. Trust me, even myself, there's so many things that come into my life here and there that'll be disappointing, but I just walk away. I don't, I don't let it get to me for too long because I know what's meant for me. There's no one who can get in the way of it, okay? 
All right, guys, so I'm going to pull you three cards of advice. Now, this deck that I just used is um, the Wild Unknown Tarot. is by Kim Kranz, I believe. Yeah. So here we go. I wasn't going to work this late tonight, Cancer. So I was going to do this reading tomorrow, but I'm like, you know what? I am not tired at all, and I will feel like crap if I just sit on my couch for three hours. Like, damn, all these readings could have been done. So let's do it. All right, so what is the advice for you guys? But I feel like this is pretty clear cut. Something's got to go. We have the Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups star card okay so with whatever secret guys is revealed even if it could be disheartening at first it ultimately releases or relieves a huge burden that you had so this is going to be different for a lot of people for some of you maybe there's a fire sign that you're going towards leo aries or sagittarius and that's going to be very passionate Okay, for others of you, maybe you're working on some sort of project, especially if you guys are um, entrepreneurs or if you do like music or if you're an actor, just do anything with the creative arts. This would definitely be for you where it's like you're growing into this very powerful person, you know, this person that's going to really be seen for what they're passionate about. But it doesn't just have to be entrepreneurs, guys. Um, it could just be someone who does something that they really, you know, really, really love. Why is this Ace of Wands here? We have the Six of Swords. So you have this new beginning, but at the same time, you're moving away from something difficult. Six of Pentacles, you have balance now. Last card is the Seven of Cups. So it's just a matter of you guys figuring out, okay, what's what? Which direction do I go? So for some of you, you definitely have to move away from something. But the ultimate or, or the conclusion of this from what I'm seeing here is that for some of you, maybe you're going towards a fire sign and that really works out for you. Um, for others of you, you're going to be going towards your own personal project and that's really going to work out for you. So just know, even though something isn't working out because someone was dishonest, because things were unstable, because there was manipulation, because maybe someone was cheating or somebody was just again uh emotionally unstable that works in your favor okay so this could be you know possibly a shitty circumstance that gets you to a very good place okay guys, i'm just like readjusting here let me get comfortable so let's see what comes out with your oracle cards i'm using earth magic oracle cards by stephen d farmer guys so there's something that is getting in the way right now oh my rock fell it's my money rock so let's just close this up so there is something right now guys that is getting in the way of a new beginning that wants to come in for you okay and it's a promise that probably isn't going to be fulfilled whether it was your promise to someone or maybe someone's promise to you. So just know that this is the only thing that's holding you back from a new beginning that's trying to come in. But what does the new beginning bring? It brings celebration. It brings love. Okay. Your blessings are being blocked. Okay. By a promise that's not going to fully come through. All right. But this is something, again, with that high priestess in the reverse, you guys know exactly what this is. Okay, you guys know what's getting in the way of all of this. So who or what is that? And how do you remove it from your life? To go one card deeper, we have the Childhood Innocence card in the uh, reverse. So what does this mean? If you could have a conversation right now with the most innocent version of you that was conscious. So let's go back to like five or six, okay? And they look at who you are now and what it is that you're doing and who it is that you're dating and who it is that or that you're working for, what it is that you do for work. What would they think about that? Okay. When this card is in the reverse, 
there's something at the core of who you are, something that you've had with you since you were a child that you've wanted, that you've wanted to go towards, uh, you know, a dream, an aspiration. And somehow you've got yourself wrapped up on something that's, you know, in something that's deterring you from what this is. So what or who is that? Who is dissatisfying that inner child that we all have? Okay, so guys, this is a matter of taking a step back and really just going back to the basics, not even just looking at the situation, but looking at your life as a whole. Am I on track? You know, what would happen if, again, if I had that conversation with my younger self? Now, there are um, guided meditations on YouTube. Just type in guided meditation to meet your younger self. Um, there's also guided meditations to meet your future self as well. And like I'm telling you guys, um, I did that meditation two or three years ago. And it was just like sobbing and sobbing because that's that's a real ass thing. Like I, that's probably the scariest sort of conversation I would ever have in my life with my younger self. And it's like, are you proud of me? Am I who you wanted to be? Are you proud of where we live? Are you proud of what we do? Are you proud of who we love? Are you proud of what we represent? Okay. And what would that unfiltered child version of you say? Would it say, holy shit, this is fucking cool? Or would it say, bro, you're a loser? Okay, so be real with yourself and sometimes being real with yourself, it could hurt. Okay, because sometimes we don't want to face the music. But honestly, the only thing that can fix anything in life is the truth. Okay, if something's throwing you off, then, you know, denial is not going to fix that. You have to be able to pinpoint what that problem is and how to solve that problem. Okay, so cancer, you guys have something incredible that wants to come in. Will you allow it? Okay, will you get back on course? It's up to you. So guys, um, I love you guys so much. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to check out my Instagram for the daily energies and just to check out the stuff that I post, High Vibrations 44. Um, and if you guys would, look up, would like a personal reading, I do offer 30 minute readings and I offer question options as well. So for 30 minute readings, you know, I'll read on anything. I just don't do anything immoral and I don't do anything that has to do with like um, anyone who passed away. But um, pretty much anything I read. And then for the questions, it's just one question. Um, I, uh, I will pull three cards, clarifiers if needed. There is no limit on how many questions um, you guys can purchase at once. So just know, guys, if you are purchasing the questions, you purchase it. Send me an email right after with, um, obviously, the questions, your sign, the sign of anyone else who could be involved in the questions, um, and then just leave it there because the way that I go about, you know, my emails and all of that is I always check the oldest emails first. So if a person keeps writing me over and over and over, it keeps putting them at the top and it takes me much longer. So the quickest way to hear from me, guys, is just to be patient and to remember I am just one person, okay? Cancer, I love you guys so much. Take care.